What's up, everybody? It's your boy Trayvon here with Centaur TV. Thank you so much for joining me here today. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. I really do appreciate all the love and the support. You guys are awesome. You guys are dope. To all my subscribers, all to my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining me and leaving comments in the section below of the aspects and the experiences that you have with the, the fragrances that I've been reviewing. Thank you so much for that. Keep it up. I love what you guys do, every little thing. But without further ado, let's jump into this. So, today, this video is gonna be a first impression of some uh, fragrances that I ran into at my local Ross. I went to my local Ross, who is newly built uh, in my area. Um, did a little digging around and see what I could find and um, ran into something great. Fantastic, something I've been looking for for a very long time. Everybody uh, was hyping it up just a little bit in the fragrance community. You know, it's a little bit of a unicorn. It's like almost a needle in a haystack. If you can find it, pick it up but uh, and see it for yourself. But I don't even know how it smells. It's a first impression anyway. So one of these fragrances, one of the fragrances that I picked up was Starwalker. It's spring. I paid $25 for this. Um, I was shocked to hear that Mont Blanc had a flanker of Starwalker. Um, Starwalker, the Starwalker, the original is a uh, it's a more of a fresh, semi-citrus bamboo watery a little bit of green earthiness to it but this one i want to see if it's the same or if it goes in a different direction so let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open but you know the box nothing really uh different about the box except for it's a black and gray color scheme than the other um mont blanc uh star walker the uh first one um it's blue it's like a radiant blue and uh, silver in the middle so there's the box got the name of the house size and concentration um batch code is right here barcode with the ingredients right there and then back uh name of the house in the back same thing nothing too much going on with the sides at all and nothing at the top so let's crack, crack this bad boy open and see what we got Now, um, I'm just shocked that there's no notes. There's no notes. There's no note breakdown on Fragrantica. There's nothing. There's no note breakdown at all from um, for this fragrance at all. None of Fragrantica. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. So this is a weird one. It just popped out of nowhere. And people was like, okay, there's no, hasn't been any announcement or anything. This is a, it's a weird release. So, the bottle, it's the same Starwalker bottle from the original, except this is just a jet black. Uh, it is kind of transparent. You can still see, like, you know, how much juice you have left in the bottle. You can still see that. Uh, still the same standard Starwalker bottle. Nothing with the cap. Uh, size and concentration down there. Uh, nothing on the back. You know? So, let's see how the atomizer is. Atomizer is okay. Now, for the smell in the air, wow. I don't get the original Star Walker in this one. Probably just a little bit. It still contains that earthiness to uh, the earthiness with the bamboo that the original has, but this is a little bit, it goes in the direction of a more dark, sweet.
it's fruity. At the, it's fruity at the same time. This reminds me of a fragrance. This reminds me of a fragrance that was sold at my local Ross called, I think it was Caesar. I think it was Caesar Man or something like that. It has a, it's a sweet, slightly nutty. But it does have a little bit of a aromatic freshness to it at the same time. I can't really make out what the exact notes it is in here, but all, all I can tell you is, it's a fresh, sweet, fruity, nutty, kind of a slight nuttiness to it. I want to say it's cardamom, but it doesn't. That sweet, it's, it does have a, a, a slight spice to it as well. It has like a cardamom spice, but I'm not sure if it's cardamom is a note inside of here. So, so it's not a projector. Like I sprayed it and I don't, I don't really smell it too heavy in the air, but if I get like right here in this distance, that's how far it's projecting. Like right there. Um, to me, it did keep the profile of it, this did keep the profile of the original just a little bit. It's like hanging in the background and the DNA in this, which is a, you know, a sweet fruitiness that's, and richness that comes in here. Just a little bit of richness. As it's drying down, the fruitiness is starting to come in now. I, I like this. I really do. There's nothing bad about the scent profile, but I don't know what the performance is going to be, but judging off of what I sprayed, it's probably going to be average. It's, it's not a beast mode because when I spray it on my hand, I don't get a waft of it like from a distance like this. I don't get, when I'm moving around like this, I don't get it. But it's some, it's some fragrance reviewers that said that they went nose blind to this and I can see that because my nose is getting a little bit blinded, blinded by it too this is a this is a weird one to me but it smells great it smells great it smells pretty good sweet warm spicy a little bit of herbal fresh aromatic to it at the same time This is a good buy. People went to Nordstrom Rack and paid like over 30 plus, 30, $35 for this. I wouldn't pay that much. To find this at a Ross for the price that I paid, which is $25, this is pretty good for the price. Anything but, uh, beyond that, to my, in my opinion, now nah, just pass this up. But um, if you're a collector like me and you want to have this in your collection and sit it next to the original Star Walker, go for it. Because it's not a bad scent. It reminds me of Caesar Man. I don't know the exact name, but I don't know the exact name, but let me get it for you. One more. Let me get that for you. Later. Okay, I'm back. It puts me in the realm of this scent. This is Caesar Man. I'm not reviewing this today. I'm just giving you what it looks like. It smells like this. Puts me in a. Yeah, it smells similar to this. And as you saw, the atomizer to this is terrible. Terrible. $20 I bought this, but uh, I'm not reviewing that today. Yeah, this is similar to this. That's what it reminds me of. Um, but yeah, I like I, I like this for the price. You can't beat it. 
Um, yeah, it still has that same, uh, that same warm, spicy, a little bit of fruitiness to it, as well as a uh, aromatic freshness as well with the fruitiness. This is pretty good. I like this for the price, but anyway, uh, that's all I got for Star Walker Extreme. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. Yeah, Star Walker and Stream by the House of Montblanc, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, if you put enough sprays in this, over spray a little bit, I don't think it's gonna offend anybody, but yeah, I like this. I like this. If you can find this for the price that I got, pick it up. If it's anything higher than that, 30, 35, I'll do. I wouldn't do it. So, as always, I'm your boy Trayvon here with Sent Talk TV, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.